Hey guys, this is Alan Hernandez with Hernandez Mastermind. I have another awesome how-to video. I'm actually working on this uh, customer's computer, and some of the symptoms that we're dealing with is that you know we'll put the uh, CD inside the CD-ROM uh, because you know we would like to uh, load the operating system again. You'll notice, and some of you will probably have this uh, problem is that it would just sit there trying to boot from the disk but it doesn't really do it so I'm going to show you in this video how to go around that and fix it uh, what the problem is so if you're interested keep watching okay so first things first let's go ahead and shut off the computer me personally, we already know obviously that the CD is not the problem, like I said, right? So it narrows it down to just the CD ROM. So perhaps let's change it and see if we get better results. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we want to do is uh, go ahead and close it. And, you know, let's say, let's pretend that you already have a CD ROM, which, by the way, it looks something like this when you are in the inside. Now, this is an attempt to try to see right we're about 90 percent sure that this is it um, I already know that this is it but you know I'm showing you how simple this is now this uh, parts here the CD ROMs are about 30 to 60 depending if you want CD DVD reader and burner or just reader uh, perhaps so you have those options online now there is a link below this video that will take you over to some of the products that I recommend so you're welcome to pick up one so first things first, if you look on the bottom of your laptops, you'll have basically several compartments. As you can see, we have one here, then you have another one, typically two or three. In this particular model, which by the way is the Asus K601, this one basically, you'll remove the screws that are in the back here. There's two on each side. And when you do that, this just slides out like this. Now, actually I forgot that there is in fact one more right there. Once you do that, then we want to remove this case to be able to go in the inside. Why? It's because you're going to notice that the CD-ROM has a screw lock right there. Now, in the model that you're using, perhaps it's not this one, but you can relate uh, to this how-to, is that you'll find the same screw if you follow your CD-ROM and kind of look for it somewhere. You'll see a screw that comes right across from the CD-ROM. So obviously, go ahead and remove that one. Either way, once you have removed your CD-ROM, the next thing that we want to do here is pull it out of the uh, computer. You'll see that once I remove the screw, I have the back of the CD-ROM here and simply just push it. As you can see, it comes out. Once I have the CD-ROM out, what I like to do is basically slide the next one in. Now make sure that the connection on the back of your CD-ROM matches. This one in particular is used in the SATA type connections. So go ahead and slide it back in there. There's no need to put the face plate on the CD-ROM yet until you confirm that that's in fact the problem. But in this particular example, 90% of the time that's really what the problem would be. So once you have it in there, turn it around. And then the next thing that I like to do is uh, get a CD-ROM and we're going to attempt to do the same thing. We'll power it on. I'll go ahead and hit the little open of the CD-ROM here, the button. This thing comes out. Put the CD-ROM in it. Once we basically reboot it, you're going to see that that was it, basically. So from this point on, now I'm able to boot the operating system from the CD, load it onto the new hard drive, which is basically what I'm doing on this particular service and we're good to go at that point. When you're dealing with that, the first thing you want to do is change your CD-ROM, just like I mentioned, and you should be good to go. So again, 30 to 60 bucks, depending on the model you want, I think will be a good investment uh, to get that CD-ROM working, especially when you need to load your Windows or perhaps install a program. So there you have it, guys. The solution to this particular challenge was replacing the CD-ROM on this ASUS and that fixed the problem. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it guys, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber.